Hello, everybody. Welcome. Told you I'd do some more live streams. <sighs> Just waiting for people to come in. Dogwood Outdoors, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Just going to say hi to a couple people. Tell, hey, NATV, welcome. Glad you're back, man. It's awesome. <laughs> Coin roll searchers back, yeah. Josh Webb, money man maniacs. Nice to see you. Gonna start in a couple minutes here. Jay's down south. Yeah, coin searcher's been gone away for a while. That's for sure. Dizzy giraffes, welcome. N C F X S I T S T I. Nice to see you. How have a how have I been? I've been doing pretty good. I've just been working a ton, guys. I wish I could do more C G O M guys, and just ah, uh, just kind of frustrated. But they, you know, that's the life of a painter. You know, where this is our busy season. I got a silver mercury dime necklace today. Really cool. You gotta send me an email. I want to see that picture. That'd be cool. Oh, we got, wow, we already got eight likes. Dang. Hey, Cow Cow, how's it going? Floyd Thomas, nice to see you. That's awesome. Mel's Coin Corner, thank you for coming. That's awesome. Uh, Sunflake Circle, hello. <laughs> oh, well, man, I'm really excited to see you. a box of nickels. I finally got some nickels today. I'm so happy. It's been so long. Oh, cool. They look good, too. Let me tilt it a little bit. Well, I definitely can say I got some Enders in here. Dang, that looks old, too. Wow, guys, I hope this is going to be a good box. I really, really do. I've usually have had good luck at my bank. There you go. Got some stickers here. Well, uh, I'm going to move this mat situated a little bit. I'm going to move the prizes off camera here. Sort of. Yeah, so uh, if uh, you haven't commented on my pre-live stream video, please do because you'll be entered in for the prizes. As you see above the, the uh, coin mat here. Uh, Robinson Prospecting, how's it going, man? Uh, I'm actually really wanting to do some prospecting myself um, this winter. I'm definitely going to give it a try. You want to go to Arizona? Oh, man. First first one in a while. I got my, uh, I got everything all set up to go. I got my USB microscope all ready to go. I was just watching some JD variety hunts. He was just doing, he was just doing a uh, a hunt, and he was finding some awesome uh, wheat scents on an old property. Stop by Indiana. You want me to stop by Indiana? What's in Indiana? Is there gold in Indiana? Yes, NATV. We do need the trifecta. That's what I always try to do. If you guys don't know what the trifecta is, that's we try to get at least one silver. We try to get one. Jefferson nickel from the 30s, and we try to get one buffalo nickel. That's what we call the trifecta, and that's a good box. I love those. Yes, I do would like to. I'd love to get one. I'd like to find another buffalo. It's been quite a while. Well, I'm not seeing any more nickels there. There, we make it make it easier to see. Oh, first roll is not too good. Looking for the seventy-five with the high, with the high mint mark. I'm not seeing any, so no two thousand nines. Okay, two thousand seven in there. All right. Lord, 
see if I can lower my light a little bit. There we go. I think that might work a little bit. A little bit better. For me, that's for sure. The more light, the better. Okay, so go enter the, the giveaway uploading winners tonight. Oh, JD's uh, reviews. You having a giveaway as well? Nice. Had a try. Mike, Mike just said he had a trifecta last week. Nice. Hey, Coin Searcher, welcome. Started a little earlier. It was a 64. I usually don't check for varieties on a 1964 unless it's really nice shape because I have found some doubling on on a, on the reverse, but it, if it's worn out, I'm not going to find it. Uh, sorry, nothing in that one too, but I think I'm going to find some stuff. I definitely do. There's some good enders in here, and I keep missing the box. Guys, you think I'll find a proof tonight? I have yet to find a proof. It's weird every time I get a buffalo in a box, I get like five. Right, right. It's like it comes in a wave. Wait, why would you sell your... What? What? Oh, retracted. Oh, gotcha. Israel said you did. I'm hoping for silver war nickels. Yes. Got to add to the stack. Silver's, silver's increasing in price, man. I got to get some free stuff once in a while. That is a nice 1980. Man, I thought that was a proof at first. No. Come on, give me something old. Huh. Still haven't found anything worth keeping in three rolls. Coin Searcher says, hey, CGM. Hello, Bex, Coin Searcher. <laughs> Pat's Piling Pennies. How you doing, man? Nice to see you again. All righty. Man. I know a lot of, a lot of people look through nickels and then the first part they don't find much and then it starts to be it starts to pick up. I'm not discouraged. I've had many boxes where it uh just didn't find anything good in the beginning. But it's nice to see a 75. See what I'm saying? That's a day to look for. You want to look for the floating mint mark on that variety. I found two last year. I haven't found any this year yet. Money Manic says we're doing another dad and daughter challenge tomorrow night. And I'll probably lose again. Lots of laughs. <laughs> You're doing pennies? Cool. Yeah. Hi, Mon Amy. I know, right? Those nineties nickels had that, that dark edge. It, it's uh, that's what we call the poser war nickel because it makes you think it's a war nickel, but it's not. Oh, I see a a Denver mint mint mark here. It's a sixty. Oh man, it's that's my I don't. Don't keep 60s. Sorry. Come on. I want to see something sweet in here. There's a 79. It's got, ooh, it's in nice shape, too. You know, if this has full steps, it could be worth about 200 bucks. Does not. And it's pretty beat up. That's too bad. What's this one? Finally, we're on the board, guys. We got 1957 Denver. We are on the board. Looks like it's been on an ender roll for a little while. See that little circle of death in there? All right, I'm definitely going to put that down. Ooh, this one looks... It's in nice shape, too, and it's a Denver mint. Come on, let's keep our fingers crossed. I think it's going to be in the 60s, I think. 62. 
Alright. Uh, the reason why I guessed kind of correctly because I, I could tell by the mint mark it was it had that style. <laughs> TLT is just got a notification. You know, actually, I might just keep that. That's actually pretty. Yeah, I'll just keep it because of condition. You know, why not? I got two 1938D Jeffersons last week. Wow, that's awesome. You know, RFT got a 39 Denver last time. That's pretty cool. Now, this one looks kind of old. Haha, your mom, make sure you guys smash that like button. That's right. I'm trying to hit a record today. It'll make, your, it'll make CGM feel happy today. He's been so busy. I wish I could do more videos, guys. I really, really do, man. But I I have a job I got to do, and that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. 64, okay. And another 66. 64. Come on, we can find something good in here tonight. That would be so awesome. I've been wanting to go through a box of nickels forever. I just I just was at the bank depositing checks and I was like, man, I would just love you if you had something I could take home today. And she's like, yes, we do. And I'm like, sweet. Okay, nothing in that roll, guys. Sorry. Boyd's Coins, how you doing? Nice, welcome. And DC Bingo. So many 64s. Yep, I had about three in that roll. Lots of 64s. Uh, I can't pronounce M M Zox 210. Uh, what's up, bro? What's up, buddy? <laughs> uh, I don't know how you guys open them up so nice. I try to, but I can't. It's a 75D. Oh, it's 73D. Oops. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should get my screwdriver, huh? 64D again. Yeah, I get lots of those. Hmm. Nothing from the 40s yet. Okay. Speeding 108, thank you, welcome. Boyd's Coins has been wanting to go through a box of nickels, been receiving only uncirculated box for the last two months. Really? Sorry, man. I have a 1943D nickel with full steps. Nice. Yeah, I have a, I think I have a 1942 silver nickel with full steps. I. I bought it when I was a kid for like six dollars. Really nice condition. I whoa, no way. Got one. My second one, I think. I think that is this my first one I've ever found, guys. I think it might be. Or I think it might be my second one. Dang. It's pretty trash, though, but it was right there. Awesome. <laughs> I think that's the first time on a live stream I found a 2009 nickel. It's a 61. <laughs> Boom. Which was silver, man. I usually pretty, pretty consistently find at least one war nickel in every box. I think out of, like... I think out of everything I've done, I think I've only had three boxes I didn't find any war nickels. Uh, I don't see anything. But that 2009, that was pretty cool. Yep, uh, yeah, it's a little minted, just like 30, 30 million, I think. 
but yeah, legit. I think that's one of a few. I think I've only found one in my life, and that's the second one I've found. I don't find too many up here. I don't just haven't had good luck. It's always wondering how you guys. Yeah, see, I, I try to. I try. To get them just right, but I just like to make a mess and just ah, just look at them all. <laughs> well, 65, 73, another nice 79. Come on, full steps. Nope. How's the search going? I got a 57D and I got a 19, a 2009. I have my second one ever found. <laughs> I got a nice 1962 though. All right, run roll number 10. Darn, man. I want to see some 40s nickels or something. Okay. Ah, that looked old. Do, do, do. 78. So what's going on? I save every 2009s. Uh, save every silver and 2009s. Yes. I do too. I, uh, whoa, I mean, I have a, I have a tube, old ones, some 39s in there and stuff like that, and some more, bu more buffaloes back there, I do have, uh, I do have rolls of war nickels, but I don't, uh, I don't know what I put with, I did with them, <laughs> I, I put, I, I lock everything up and different places it just uh, I would just love to have a great big refrigerator style fridge in my garage and just keep everything in there wow I got 31 likes that's awesome 49 people in the house wow I think this is pretty much my record guys I don't think I've had this many people in the live stream in a long time Let's see what I get here that one looks weird. That must have been chemically treated or something. Let's see. Yeah, I've, I've made some pretty good videos. Um, I put a lot into some of my videos. I just uh, I need to get more likes or something. Because I have made some videos when I first started doing my top 10. That one got like 14,000 views, and I don't think it was as good as some of my other videos I've done. But somehow it got out there. 2006. Oh, man. I'm seeing things here. I keep thinking I'm seeing an old one, and it's not, or whatever. The first... This is the first time I've ever caught one of live streams. Oh, oh yeah, because, you know, I've been very busy... Um, real ruler 2112. I I primarily was doing a lot in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, but I got so busy working, I, I couldn't do anymore. I uh, couldn't go to the bank and go to the post office all the time because I was, you know, I worked before they open and I come back home before, you know, after they've closed and it was just real tough. I have an awesome wife, so go get stuff for me. If I remind her, you know, that's really cool. Things will things will happen, guys. I'm gonna come back. You can guarantee that. I have ordered four more boxes of pennies. I do have a box right there unopened, and I am gonna have a battle with RFT. I'm gonna send them three boxes, and I think that's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna get a lot of fun. This is 62. Oh man. 
Boy, this is not a good box so far, people. Maybe I should have just, uh, well, you never know. A box is a box. Not a nice 75. But, you know, the more 75 Ds I find, the better chance I have to find that high D. I really want to find another one tonight. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. I mean, basically, I just started. I'm on uh, roll 12 right there. But there's a lot of good enders. I mean, there's a lot of old stuff coming up. I can see them. I'm, I have some I have some faith in this box still. I do. Rick's Coins. Okay, I'm back. Yes, thank you for coming. Young Coin Hunter. He's my new mod. Say hello, everybody. It's awesome. We're both from Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would love to go hit another junkyard too. I really would. Man, I just, that one time I had time to go. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> exploded. Uh, I thought I had die rotation. So is this the one that has the double die verse? You better check for it. No, I don't see nothing on it. Looks pretty normal. Yeah, that's pretty normal looking. Mike the Greek, yo! Thank you for stopping by. T-Bone, what's up, T-Bone? All right, now we're on roll 14, guys. Finally, there we go, 1940. Been polished. Probably been in a book or something. Well, that's the oldest one I've so far found, so I'll put it right there. Good, that's a good sign. That means something's going to happen. I don't want a skunk box. I've never had a skunk box. <laughs> Man, I should have did a prayer before I opened up this box for luck. Pre-1960. Yeah, I yeah, I'm trying to find a Buffalo Nickel War Nickel or a 1930s nickel. I'm trying to get the trifecta. Or uh I actually don't really like to keep them unless they're 55 and older, but if it's not a good box, then I'll I'll start keeping the the late 50s coins <laughs> just to say I found something. Boy, that seven looks weird. Nope, I guess it doesn't. It's just me. <laughs> Another 1970. You get 70D, 70D. And they are toast. 2007. Oh, I'm not seeing any old ones. I want to see some old. 85. Hmm. Yeah. These are not good roars. Oh, yeah. I got to go to live chat. That's right. I only keep 50s when they're in good shape. Yeah, because I got a lot of them. You know. 55. 55 and older, I'll keep them. Come on, War Nichols.
Boy, that was a bad roll, too. What is the deal? Oh, well. At least I go through them quick, huh? Yep. Sixty two D polished. <sighs> I need something for the effort, you know? I need something good. There's another seventy five D. That's nice to see that. I need more. I don't mind getting a whole roll of seventy five Ds. And a stink box. Dang. I know, I'm losing people. It's, it's not my fault. This box is just not producing. John of Coins! Woo! What's up? Nice to see you. Uh, quarters are worse, yes. Yeah, I've never done them. I just, I just go through my silver quarters. So, gosh, I haven't even gotten to that. Well, I was trying to save that for the fall. Fall is coming soon. Man, you know it was 52 degrees this morning, guys? Can't believe it. 57. D again. Now we got two 57s. Okay. Yeah, John, it is a slow box. But I'm about halfway in. It could pop some more. I don't know. Boxes are weird sometimes. And how they stack them. Nice live stream. Thanks, man. I even tilted my light down so it's a little, little easier to see. This is old one. Come on. Ah, I'm just getting everything from the 60s. Early 60s. Hmm, maybe somebody's looked through this. I got one nineteen forty. Oh boy. This is strange. Very strange. You know, I've had a box similar to ten nickels. It was all kind of from the middle toward the end. It's so weird. Oh, cool. 49. So we want the D over S, right? Ooh. Actually, one we could check for a variety. Let's check it out. Nah. I gotta zoom in a little better or something. Come on, focus. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it is. Like I say, I'm having issues with my uh, microscope. It doesn't. Uh, it's not as crisp and clean, you know. It is not. It is just a forty nine D. So we will put that there. So that's the best one I found so far. Forty nine D. Hopefully things are gonna change. Yes. Come on, give me a buffalo nickel and then a war nickel. Yes. Do -do -do -do. Nothing in there. I get my microscope the first the first loop tomorrow. Yes, I like my loop better. Um, I just can't get a much. Uh, I wish I could be more of a clearer picture. I wish I could zoom in more and zoom out more. It's kind of just like you focus it in and focus it out, and it just focuses what it wants to. I actually have a little better luck turning the light down on it, you know? If I turn the, the, the make it dimmer or if I make it brighter, you know, sometimes 
I can see details a little better. I'm going to bring the light down. Ooh, 53. Ooh, it's Denver. Cool. I'm going to check for RPM. It does not. Boy, it looks it looks really cool. That man mark looks kind of neat, doesn't it? It's kind of uh, fatter toward the south. I like it. I really think it's cool nickel. So 53. She can go. Let's see. You got 57, 56, 57. Uh, wait, 56, 55, 54, 53. We'll put it right there. Oh, boy. I hope I can find some more really cool stuff. I really could go for an exciting last half of this box. Oh, yeah. I really could. Okay, I looked at them all. It's all good, baby. Smash that like button. Yeah. Got 39 people. Wow, that's awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Dude, this one looks goofy. Oh, no, that, I can tell it's not old. That's digitally done. Yep, 99. Okay, that's 70s. 67. 67. Modern. Dang. Lots of moderns. Okay. Okay, we are on roll uh, 24. Roll 24. I don't see the like button. <laughs> oh, it's there. And don't forget to leave a comment on my pre-live stream video so you're eligible for the giveaways at the end of the stream. 73. Ooh, 59. Ooh, 46 right next to it. Oh, guys, I like it when I find two nice ones right in a row. That's sweet. Look at that. Dang. Anybody can find these. That's sweet. Right next to each other. Another 75D does not a 54? Dude, this roll rocks! This roll rocks! A 54D. Dude, that's cool. Three nice nickels in a row. Um this it's just a regular one. Okay. So that is cool. Now, now it's making up for it. Yes, I like that. Now I think I can possibly, is my luck's going to grow even more if I can find a buffalo nickel? Yes, I would. Love it. Oh, I need some water. Mm. That's so good. All righty. Got 30 people watching. All right. That was a hot roll, guys. Wow. That was amazing. CGO must be present in the chant to win. I'm um, not on the end of streams one. Just this one you have to be in the in the stream. Yeah. But, you know, if they don't respond in seven days, then it just goes up for uh, a raffle. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. A 46? Dang, dude. I'm liking this. Finding something worthy on every roll. I'm starting to like that. Yes, I do. Fantastic. Now I'm getting excited, guys. Now I'm happy. It makes me want to get open up that next roll real bad. 2008. Really close to the one we need, right? 62, 64. 
and 68. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I have false alarm. I thought it was a war nickel. 62. Well, that one's a bad roll, huh? Oh, well. I want to open up another one. My first, my first war nickel found in a roll was an ender. Really? Oh, I just jacked my knee. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, oh. I crossed my leg and it cracked. Yikes. Things hurt now. <laughs> uh, I am no stranger to pain. I'm married. Hey, Canadian. 74. Oh, yeah. That's really bothering me. <laughs> Sorry. I won't whine about it no more. Okay. Don't see anything old. Nice. Oh, yeah. Coin searcher. <laughs> you know, I would love to find a off center error. I would love to find that too. I just uh, haven't found one yet. Do, 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 do. Well, I had a string of good luck and then a string of really not too good. Not too good here. Yeah. Okay. Well, 2004. Yeah. Maybe we better double check this one. Um, nope. No double die. I can't believe uh, in the pennies how many varieties there are. It's insane. It's like every day it's like there's new varieties being found on older dates. Mm. That looks old. Definitely is old. I'm going to say it's a 46. Oh my gosh. I nailed it. Unbelievable. Two ninety nine. Oh, it was a good call, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a good call, young hunter. Yeah, I, I legitly never saw the front of it. I just guessed. Here's a fifty six. Whoa, fifty six. Denver. It's actually not too bad of shape. Extremely fine. Take it. Let's see. It'd be cool to find an old Canadian nickel. That'd be really neat. Alrighty. Wow, I got 50 likes. Holy moly. That's that's pretty good. Nice toning on that one. A little bit of toning on it. Some 
Transformers, the Moderns, 2008. Six and nothing. Yes, Mike, it would be nice to find a 50D. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever found one coin roll hunting. The only one I have, I got it at the uh, coin show. Actually, I bought a couple at the coin show. They're so cheap. I get them in nice shape for like five bucks, six bucks. It's really cool. I think that 50D went down price since I bought it. You know, when I was 10 years old, I think I paid like, I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was 13. I bought one for like 11 bucks. Ooh, a 52. Nice. Is this going to be one of the semi keys? Oh, that's right. It's not updated. My ass. <gasps> it is a 52S. I know somebody who just found one on their last box of nickels. A 52S. Got, oh, I, that's right. He found a 51S. That's cool. I love those tight little S's on those things. They're so pretty. 1952 San Francisco. Oh, yeah. I'll take that all day long. Oh, that's an impressive coin to find. You know, I wish I could find a proof. That would be neat. That's a nice, nice 83. If I could get the focus, but it doesn't have full steps. Man, if this had, if this coin had full steps, uh, you're talking some big money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry, Coin King. Got to go in a moment. That's cool. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Murray Love. It's been a long time since I've done live stream. Sorry, Murray. <laughs> but I'm just having fun today. I finally got some coins to look through. Rob could never live in Minnesota with with his garden. Right, yeah, he's super busy. I wish he would take on a vacation. I would love to see him do a vacation video. Yes, like him in, uh, say, Hawaii or something. I think that would be really cool. Very cool. 75. 75 with no mint mark. Yeah. Nice 89. does have full steps but i think it's pretty much a standard after a certain time a certain date that's yeah, pretty much it was you know if it's not all chopped up that would have been a full step stickle but it's too chopped up so it's not going to get the full steps designation but the point is it was a good enough strike to get one uh, let's see here. Throw that back. Ooh, a 57. Denver again. Got another one. Let's see here. Nothing. Okay. That was a cool find, a 52S. I want to find a 38S again. I found a 38. Uh, did I see doubling on cents in the coin under the microscope? Oh, um, I don't think so. I would have picked that up. That was machine doubling. I was looking for the full steps, and that was just die deterioration, full steps. Or, uh, die deterioration, or it was a strike doubling. DC, DMC Coins is in the house. Welcome. Thank you for coming, man. And it is uh, nothing in that roll. Damn. I like some of this stuff.
Just randomly picking them out. Found plenty of unspeared 2005s. That's sweet. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope I can find a Sacagawea in here. I don't think it's even possible, but that would be silly. Yeah, it looks like I need to empty my trash my trash box. Yeah, it's getting too full. I'll have to uh, empty her out. <laughs> 61, another Canadian nickel. We have a 79 Canadian nickel. I gave a push. <laughs> He's at 100. Nice. Who's at 100? Hey, money. Nice. Let's see. Uh, I gotta find something in this roll. I'm really. Ah. Uh, gotta find something. Oh, nothing. DMC coins. Hopefully, Coin Searcher doesn't tie me out. He has a beef with me for some reason. Oh. Coin Search is pretty cool guy. see anybody's problems we're just here to have fun with nickels if you guys have a personal problem you know like i said you know the coin searcher is my my mod dude and he's you know he's here he's staying i don't have a problem <laughs> okay You can always hide notifications or, uh, you know, because you're going to spoil it for all the other viewers. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, Healing Coin co coin Hunter. Nice to see you. Welcome. Oh, mm. boy. Thirsty, man. Yeah. Turn my uh, thing down. Mm. A few days ago, I found a 1939 S nickel. Nice AG Hunter. I don't even think I found one in my life. The only ones I have, I, I just got them at, yeah, you know, like I said, a coin show for like a buck fifty or something. I just never found those really rare ones. But I've literally found every single date on a. Silver War Nickel. So strange. <laughs> it's that Minnesota luck, let me tell ya. Yeah, that one's stuck together. It had like glue on it. Look at that. Yuck. Yeah, I wish I knew of some like uh, modern day nickels that have varieties. I just don't. I know more about the pennies. Much wider array of penny errors and varieties to look for. Well, there's not very many rolls left. Boy, that's weird how I had a couple rolls. I had like three awesome nickels in it, and then all of a sudden, poof, nothing. And just the 59. Oh, no, I got a lot more. I got a 40. I got a, a 52S, you know. got a 54S. That's really cool. Or is it not, is it not a 54? 54D. Yes, 54D. 53D. 54, a uh, 52S. That's cool. Very cool. That's probably going to be the find of the box. I pretty much think of that right now. Ooh, I see a, I see a foreign. Yep. 1998. 
Oh, Canada, oh, Canada. Yeah, nothing. Ah, frustrations, amigo. Darn. Yeah, just one box, dude. I want to get like tons of boxes, so. Gotta wait till I mean I got four boxes of panties, four more boxes of panties on top of a bad box I have right there, and then uh, I'm kind of gonna start going crazy on CGOM after uh, Parade of Homes is done. I just need to get off earlier and go to the banks and stuff, you know. Is this my lucky roll? Come on. Bless this roll. Got to find something good. Give me something from the 30s. Give me a war nickel. Give me a buffalo nickel. I would love to find an Indian head and penny inside of a roll of nickels. That would be super sweet. <laughs> Seventy-two, ah, man, seventy, thirteen. Just saying, these are not good. An eighty, a six, ah, and nothing. Seventy-nine, really bad shape. Yikes. I'm so sorry, guys. This box isn't producing. I mean, it was for a little bit, and then it just kind of just stopped. You never know. I mean, I've had a box where I found 150 keepers for sure. I was freaking out. I didn't even have room to put all the finds. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. A 55... But it's a, yeah, I thought it was a Philly. It's a Denver. Nice. I, I'm glad to have that. 55. Yeah, I found one last April. I gave it to NATV. Because he's my bro. He likes those nickels too. Okay. Just got that 55 out of there. Yep. I wish it was a 55 T. Um, and I have a couple. I think I found three or four. Oh, my legs. Oh, they're so stiff. Ooh, 56. Okay. I guess we'll take it. That's it for that roll for sure. Rob found a 55P a while ago, but in the video he said it was going to toss it back because it was trash. Oh, gotcha. Oh, 55D over S. Sorry. Yes, maybe there there is. Let's Let's check it. Good call, man. Thank you, uh, Real Ruler. I appreciate that. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, 
You guys got a picture of one? I don't have it. Uh, uh, I'm going to go look. I'm going to use my jewelry slip and check. See if I see anything on the west side. No, I don't see nothing. That's just some dirt or something. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, maybe it is to the north. Yeah, I think it is to the north. See it to the north? You see the S on top of it? That's what I see. I really think it is the D over S. I need a picture of one. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's to the north. I can see it to the north big time. Get the light just right. Can you put on the microscope again? Yeah, see the microscope doesn't... Ooh, jeepers. The microscope doesn't pick it up. But it's right here. So weird. The microscope doesn't pick it up, guys. And that's the problem I have with this one. You know, when I shoot videos, I see something with my jewelry loop. It's definitely it's definitely a raised element above the D. I wish I could just hold this really steady for you. There you go. It's definitely a raised element. Looks like an S. And you, actually, you see um, the left side. Here, I'll show you where else I'm looking. You see the S is, oops, sorry. Zoom out, zoom out. I want to zoom out. Bugging me. Well, anyway, it's almost like the S going in and out, and it goes out right here. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing a raised element off here. I'm seeing a raised element right in this area too. That's pretty neat. And thanks to, uh, was it Real Ruler? Reminded me to look. I would have missed this. I swear I would have missed this if he didn't say anything. So good call to Real Ruler. That's awesome. Definitely can see that S. I'm about to put this in a flip. Or you know what? I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it back here. At the end of the stream, when I'm done, I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, look at some real photographs on PCGS or something like that. But right now I have a uh, live stream, so we're just gonna continue with the hunt. So that's pretty cool. Hey, Pat's, P Pat's Piling Pennies, I think I think I found a 1955 D over S. That's what you missed, man. You just have to rewind a little bit. That's cool. I didn't even know about that. I mean, I... So, you know... Your man of Silver Mountain, you know, sometimes you need to be reminded that there's a variety on a certain date. There's just hundreds and hundreds of stuff to think, uh, things to remember, but it's really nice to have that extra reminder, so thank you. Boy, I think this is going to be, this might be the fourth box that I've never found a war nickel out of like 30 or 40 boxes I've gone through. I've, this is pretty crazy. Yeah.
usually under 10% finding stuff. Um, that's strange. But anyway, yeah, it's a nice shape, but still it's trashed. Uh, it's nice 1990, but still not in good enough shape to keep. War Nickel, where are you? Oh, I know. Yeah. Oop, I almost threw a nickel away. No. That was pooping anyway, it's all right. 63, missing the six on there because it's damaged. 63? I want to guess this is a. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a 48. Oh whoa, what? What? The heck, a 42D guys. I uh, I think it's the first time I found one in a box. Unbelievable. I gotta check if it's got the horizontal D. I I don't think it does because it's pretty obvious. No, it does not. But holy cows, that's cool. It looks like a number five. Looks like a number five right here. Look at this. That looks like a die crack or something. A forty-two D. First one I've ever found. I think in circulation. Holy cows, that's amazing. I think I have cleaned my banks out. I'm so happy to find that. That's awesome. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I had a frog in my throat there. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I feel, you know, eh, it's quality versus quantity, right? I mean, there's lots of stuff we want to find. That's pretty neat. A 69. Uh, that's really struck poorly. Oh, boy. I always have to look, guys. You know. Uh, oh, my knee just snapped again. Holy cows. Boy, this has been a fun hunt, guys. Wow. Yeah, I'm not uh, not seeing too much there. You need my tray. Um, this tray. I got a big tray. Yeah, my wife gets those. <laughs> oh. 64s. I'm not seeing anything older than that in here. Sorry. Oh, boy. We don't have very many rolls left, do we? 64. I'm sorry. wish I could go through these faster, but it is what it is. All right. Four rolls left and the box is done. Whoa. Guess my desk is not level, is it? <laughs> All right. I just found an Arizona with an extra leaf. Is that the quarter? Don't you mean a Wisconsin? Didn't know Arizona had an extra leaf. Hey, any TV? What's up? Wow, nice scores. Thanks for looping me in, CS. Yeah. Yeah, 42D. I can't believe it. Look at it. NATV 42D. 
I can't believe it. It's the first time I ever found. And then uh, 55 possible D over S variety. I'd have to zoom in with the, with the phone to see it. See above the, at, above the D and then left of the D. There you can see the tail of the S a little bit. But I need to look on PCGS website to confirm. Or actually I can go to CoinHelp coin help as well to get a picture. Or a variety vista or something like that. Yeah, no silver. Man, no buffaloes either. No 30s nickels. My gosh, what's next? I'm going to find a 1950D nickel now? I don't know. We got a couple rolls left. And that's not going to produce anything. Okay. Did I find a 39? Mm, no, I have not yet. That's insane. I haven't even found one of the trifectas yet. But I found a 42D. I mean, that's so rare. 13 million made? Something like that? I can't believe it. And I am not seeing anything else. Wow. Yeah, cross the fingers. You got two more rolls left, and that looks old. And that one looks modern, but trashed. So. Like <clears throat> <clears throat> sharp thumbnails. <clears throat> See if I was right on that last one. Yep, 98. It was a modern, trashed one. This was the ender. A 41, dude, 41 under. I'll take a 19, 1894 S dime two. <laughs> yeah, 41. Nice. Yeah. Usually you find like 18 of those in a row. A uh, 54 and a 52. Whoa. A 52 D and then a 54. And a 41. Three in a row. Unbelievable. That's pretty good. 54. And a 52. Nice. I like finding rolls like that when you find multiples. It's really cool. Pull them out of circulation. And... Yeah, it's, this mint mark is shifted to slightly. I think it is close to being. Yeah, it's so close to being the high D. I mean, I have one where it's like it, it actually has to be right here. And there's one it's so close. If it was like right here. I consider I think I'm, I'm still going to consider keeping this, but I believe the high D needs to be right in this region. But it's close. I found a couple today. They were down here. You know what I'm saying? They were lower. I think I'm going to still hold on to that one. Coin Searcher has uploaded a new video today. Oh, yeah. What, we, what was it about again? You're doing uh, varieties on, on state quarters. Is this the one that's going to have my war nickel? This is roll number 50, guys. And it doesn't look good. It does not look like I'm going to have a war nickel. 64D. Does not have the RPM I want, so bye-bye. 64 again.
Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, go check the uh, check the website. That was pretty cool, guys. My zoomed out all the way. Why is it so close to me? Whatever. It shouldn't be that close. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go to uh, PCGS website. I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> Nichols. I only for fifty nineteen fifty five. Hey now. Let's go to the next page. Fifty five D over S. Let's take a look at the picture here. Sorry, I'm concentrating on this. Hmm, that one's different looking. Here, I'll blow it up. I don't think I have it, guys. Would you turn around? There we go. Wait for it to load. How was Albertville today? Mm, about 82 degrees. Beautiful day. There it is. See, I don't have the D over S, I don't think. I mean, it totally is different. Let's uh, put my image on here again. In the microscope. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing it guys. Um it could possibly be, but it's worn out. Nah, it looks different. It just looks different. It's not the it's not the same FS five oh one. So it is the same, really. So I mean that the D I think has a different shape though, but then you can see the extrusions here. Okay, then I, I kinda have it here, but then I definitely have it at the top north part. On both left sides, yeah. Well maybe. Well let's see what the prices are on this thing. If it's even worth keeping it. It's probably worth a dollar, you know. Yeah, yeah possibly. I don't think it's even in that condition, guys. I don't even think this this coin I have. You know, that's pretty trashed up. It's pretty beat up, but it's probably probably five bucks retail, but you know, I'll keep it. I'm gonna put it in a flipper. I got any nickel ones. Oh, we got these. A lot of people say it is, so I'm just going to go with my gut. There we go. God for safekeeping. You know, I probably want to put this in a flip too because, my goodness, would you focus? Anyway. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Jeepers. Nah, that one. 42. There we go. That's hard to find. What did Railroad say? Just put a question mark after it and you're good. Okay. Put a question mark. 
There you go. Just to be honest, because I kind of think it is. I'll put this in here too. All right, guys. Um, I'm just going to uh, go and get a bottle of water, and then I'm going to then I'm going to start with the um, giveaway in a second here. So I got my random comment picker here. We can refresh this. Got 55 comments. Boom. But I need I need a prop for the question that I'm going to have today. All right, I'm back. So how's it going? I think the question is for the, yep, American Civil Regal, yeah. <clears throat> wow. So anyway, we're going to do this one first for the 1912. If my phone could focus for a little bit. There we go. 1912 penny, and then we're gonna see what kind of uh, what kind of uh, date we have on this. Could show me. 1940, of Philadelphia, and we have a 1936. Is it the three-legged buffalo nickel? It is not. Okay. So that's going to be what I'm going to give away first. And I do have this ready to put in there. And this is where it's going to be. It's from that video I did today. Pre-live stream. And I'm going to start my countdown in 3, 2, 1, go. Daniel Nichols. Daniel Nichols, you are the winner. I will put uh, your name in my descriptions on this video. You have seven days to claim your prize and to give me an address to mail it to. Daniel Nichols. Nice name. We were just looking through Nichols today. Congrats. Thank you, Ben. Cheer on. It's a nice coin. And silver. And some more silver. Um, what's my email? Um, coin searcher will pop it up. I have it in the descriptions of almost every video I do. Okay. Now, we're going to do... I say this one's a little more expensive. So this is going to be... Uh, Number two, number three. So this is going to be number two. So what I have is I got a really cool Canadian half dollar with some really nice toning to it. Hate to see this thing go. Yeah, I didn't pay too much for it. But it is 80% silver. Okay. I just think it's so beautiful. So you're really going to love that coin. Then we have a 1937. Nickel. I think it's a, De a Denver. Yep. Better check for the uh, better check for an RPM. But I think I probably already have checked one. That's eh, all good. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And we'll see what the year is on this one. A 1943. All right. So now we're going to pick another winner. And three. What? Canadian? Huh? Yeah, I do like Canadian silver. All right. In three, two, one. Boom. Real Ruler 2112, yes! And because of you, I got a uh, possible awesome variety, too. Real Rulers in the house, oh yeah. That's really cool. That's cool. Now we got the 1910S Penny. It's in really good shape, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's not in bad shape. It's uh yeah, good plus detail, so that means it's been clean a little bit. Yeah. That's not that's a dent, yeah. That's not a yeah, it's a dent. Post mint damage. A ding. Yeah, that's your coin guy there. And we got a 19... A, 1990, a 1936 penny, uh, nickel. Uh, well, I want to focus. Oh, geez, whatever. Anyway, it's awesome. Do, 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 do. There we go, number three. Prize number three is Turtle Sandwich E. Turtle sandwichy, nice. And like I said, I will have my email in the links below, in the descriptions below, when this airs, and you can uh, claim your prize, and you have seven days from today. So there you go. Otherwise, it goes up for a redraw. Okay, now we're going to have the question for this awesome coin. And it's probably going to be pretty simple if you're in math class. So, I have a prop here, and I want to know what geometric shape this cup is. There is a term for it. What geometric shape? is this nope it is close to a cylinder it's a one word name it's not a cone a cone would have a point to the end cup colander nope I learned this in 10th grade math, geometry, geometry class. No, no. Getting close, but no. Rhombus is square. This is a cylinder that is like a cone, but it cut off. And you're really, really you're getting in the vicinity of the uh, terms. But I can't give it away. So basically, think about it as a, it's a it's a it's a cylinder. So this circle is larger than this circle, and if it were to continue, this would be a cone. So if you cut it off, what do you have left? Somebody just said it: conical frustum. Frustum. That was what I was looking for. Is frustum? Yes, that is the word. Frustum. Yes, I learned that in tenth grade. I never had to look that up. So it looks like Coin Searcher gets the ASC. ASE, yes. Jessica Pollen was so close. 
Yeah, you 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 have it in like seconds before somebody else had the right answer. Congrats, man. Congrats, coin searcher. That's sweet. <sighs> CS. All right, guys. Cool. Thanks for coming tonight. I think that was a lot of fun tonight. I like thinking of hard questions like that, kind of, you know. I, I was thinking about that today. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm working really hard lately. My goodness. Um, I wonder where I put my nickels now. I got a bag for no. I have a bag for my nickels somewhere. Tons of fun. Thanks. <laughs> yes, Pat's piling pennies. Um. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. Some of my nickels I found are just. Yeah, but I go on. I kind of want to separate. I want to keep that fifty-two ass. That's kind of neat, you know. That's gonna go in the uh, the neat stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Anything else I can refresh my mind on? Fifty-two mm. D would be nice too. Yeah. The forty-nine. Yeah, we'll put the forty-nine. And the rest of it, I'll just put in that bag. My neat bag. Yeah, I know. A friend of mine gave me this a long time ago. He used to, I bought his coin collection for nothing, basically. He had some pretty neat stuff. But he put most of the stuff in bags like this. All right. And the 2009 nickel. My goodness. That's been my lucky day today. Oh. That's cool. 1942D. Not too often you find that. That's for sure. Yeah, I took uh, I took a lot of my big jars and I, I locked them up. They're not here no more. I, I just didn't want that stuff laying around. You're the man of the Silver Mountain. Is buff. You're a man of the Silver Mountain is buff. Okay. CGM, want me to text you my address after stream? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I don't remember everybody's stuff. <laughs> you know, if this was my day job, I would have catalogs of everybody's stuff, you know, so I could just resend it out to you. I just don't. I, I actually want to get uh, my builder's license, and then I want to put my first house in the ground probably in the spring I, I i've been wanting to do this for years but never pulled the trigger and i got another friend that, that really wants to do it with me and i'm like well maybe we can you can get some land cheaper out in the out in the farm areas like um lester prairie or uh um where else was i mayor st bonifacius some of those areas i feel like it's some land cheaper my stream was epic. Yes! Hey, Brian, can you show me a 98 or a 99 wide AM? Um, is that the rare one? I don't think I have any. Yeah, they're supposed to be close, aren't they? Yeah, I don't have any. Every stream of mine is epic. Uh, well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. You know, I'm just more down to earth. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be all flashy like Elvis or whatever. I'm just a normal person, and I, I just do what I do. And I, you know, I paint for a living, and I love coins, and I love the coin collecting community. Uh, actually, before any of this YouTube stuff came around, you know, I kind of felt alone you know because 
I didn't. I just never run into people that are really into coins. I probably knew like three people out of everybody I've ever met. You know, and that would be the people that own coin shops. And I don't know. I didn't know anybody else that was really into coins until I met you guys. And that's really how I how I feel my identity and everything. I just really like that. I can relate to other people that are into what I'm into. And um, it's not like I'm trying to be a poser or anything, but it's like, I know other people have had channels before, before I have, but I just, I just didn't think I was quite there yet. You know, I didn't know how to talk and present myself or have a, you know, structure the channel. And I had to learn how to do it all myself. So here I am. What did I just see, CRS? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> well, I am going to have a 2,500 subscriber giveaway, guys. Remember, I'm still having that. And, uh, you know, because I've been working so much, it's really slowed my channel down. And I apologize sincerely. I just can't, I just can't help it. I would love to, but it's like I work so much that my brain kind of just goes to a blank and I forget what was I going to, what was my, uh, my subject matter going to be today. And then I just, I just can't think. And uh, I just need to get a little relaxation because, you know, the last couple of weeks, well, this last weekend was pretty relaxing. You know, I work six hours a day. We got this extra house done. You know, I'm on my 74th day in a row of working. I haven't had a day off yet. It's going to it's gonna keep going until like about the 7th of September. Um, that's when the parade at home starts. The rest of this week's going to be crazy. I don't think I'm going to get a video out until this weekend. I'm serious. So I'm just trying to take the opportunity today and get you guys something to watch today. And I might possibly get another... That's insane. I know people that have worked two years in a row without a day off, dude. Maybe Christmas, and that's it, you know. But, you know, when you got a physically demanding job, you don't go to work, well, stuff just doesn't get done. But I'm working on so many different things. I, I do, I think the best thing for me is to be a builder and... You know, when we don't have any work this winter, I'm going to go to Arizona. I will be shooting videos there. I will be gold mining for, for gold nuggets and stuff with metal detectors. Any other time I have, I will get my builder's license at the Secretary of State. And then we will, I'll get the process moving as soon as the ground thaws. I'm going to have something. I'm going to find some land while I have time. And then we're going to dig. And then I won't be painting anymore. The only houses I'll be painting will be my houses. And that's a fact. I'll have a lot more free time and a lot more money. So that's my that's my thought process. I think that's going to be awesome. So I want to be there for my kids. And you know, just being a painter, just everything gets dirty. You know, my truck's three, four years old. It's trashed. I just am on the go so much. It's like, I can't, I can't keep up with it. It's cleaning it. I just can't keep up with it. It's trashed. But I'm making uh, quadruple payments. I'm hoping to get it done. I'm a painter, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I wish I would have never listened to some, my, you know. One of my friends is like, well, you make good money. Why don't you just go buy a new truck? Well, I wish I didn't. You know, because I destroyed it. I should have. I should just bought another used diesel, but the thing is, like, they're really tough to keep going in the winter. Trevor! <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have got a used diesel. <laughs> they last a long time. E250? Self-employed with the E250? Oh, that's the Eco Liner 250? That's out of Ford? Yeah. Brian, the 
Dark Prince Taylor. <laughs> That's awesome. You're a painter. Just slap a coat of paint on the old one. Yeah. Well, I do have some paint on this fingernail. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, it's all over the place. So. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired, guys. I'm going to have to go to bed pretty soon. So I'm glad you guys uh, came to my live stream. And I'll catch you guys next time. You can't find it. If you don't, if you don't look for it, you ain't going to find it, right? I'm glad I found some cool stuff today. And have a fantastic night.